Hey you guys, what's up? I am, look at my eyes man, I am all puffy and swole. Uh, I just got up a little while ago. Alright, I admit it, I was up to like 4 in the morning playing a video game. Playing No Man's Sky mining for money. I got over 40 million units. <laughs> Look, it was, I was just chilling, and it got away from me a bit, so... <laughs> I know, I go from a shotgun video to, to being this, this nerdy video game dude. Hey, that's me. Like it or love it, leave it, hate it, whatever. What? I don't even know how that saying goes. Anyway, so this morning, I finally, I, I, I've been having some issues with my, one of my uh, PCs here, which... It started, I don't know if it started before Windows 10, but once when I did the Windows 10 thing, it really, it really came to light. And the thing is that it's not recognizing the cool, either the cooler, I have one, a Corsair, you know, hydro cooler, either the cooler pump or electronics is messed up or it's just not recognizing it and I can't, I've done all the dryer, I've done everything. I've done everything you're supposed to. I'm at the point that I need to change it. And unfortunately, I don't know why. I don't know why, like I said, if it's, if it's, I would rather just be the unit fail. Like I've never had one fail before, but if that's what it is, fine. So I've decided to go down to Micro Center, which is about half an hour from here. You know, it's, it's like a, look it up, Google it, Micro Center. It's an all encompassing computer store but their prices are really super good. Like they're super competitive with all the online stuff and it's a place I can physically walk in, which is pretty wild. It's dangerous for me to go there though because every time I go there, I wanna build a new PC. Cause I love, I love the fact of, of building the PC, right? I like building, I don't wanna build you one. I like to build one for myself. I don't wanna be like on assembly line. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go. So when it comes to computers, I've been I've been fairly lucky as far as not having issues. Now I'm not gonna say it's because I built them and all that kind of stuff, but it's um, I have been really lucky that I haven't had major issues with these things, and it's good because I use it for a major part of my life. You know, a, whatever you want to call it, a business, whatever. You know, I got four. Wait a minute, I've got one, two, three, I've got four YouTube channels, right? Plus I live stream, so that's a major part of my life. You can't say that it's not, you know what I mean? Yeah, you've got your job and all that stuff, but when I just did one YouTube channel, you know, back in 2010, it was like, yeah, okay, whatever, you got your little gaming thing, and then I, you know, partnered up with Niels and we, we started the, what ended up being our Blockbuster channel of, you know, we got two million plus subs on there. Pretty active channel, but you know, we get, we pull a lot. That, that's a, I can le at least say that if nothing else, I've, I've had a successful, a really successful YouTube channel when it comes to size, you know, and that's you always win. And I got, you know, can we survive it now? Chris X coming to you live from the Jeep. <laughs> anyway, um, so like I said, I've, I just been really lucky when it comes to to my PCs that no no like major breakage, none of that kind of stuff. Um, this is the first thing that I've had to change on a on a PC that I built. And like I said, I really the way I you know it, this kind of stems from my job. I'm a troubleshooter, right? I like to f troubleshoot and find why, like. Okay, you don't just go in there and start swapping parts out, right? You want to know why. Why did it stop working? Why did it do this? Is it, you know, is it a software thing? Is it a... People just don't know how to drive. Step on the gas, man. They got these little tiny cars, right? They got... There's two types of people in this world. No, I take that back. There's millions of types of people. But the, all these people with these little tiny, little tiny cars. They're electric, they're, they're whatever, they're miniature little pocket cars, and they still can't drive around. Then there's these people that drive these giant tuna boats, like these old, gigantic, huge, long things, and they go whipping through like, holy cow, they're gonna take out the side of my car. You got that figured out, bud? <laughs> Dude, it's craziness. It's crazy. I don't even remember what I was talking about now, dang it. Oh, I know. So, 
I like to know like why okay so yeah you can easily just start throwing parts at something to fix it and once it fixes it you're like okay good it's fixed that's not me that's not me I need to know which part it is and why like like I said I've got a cooler problem right now the CPU everything's not recognizing the cooler at all it doesn't recognize it and before that it wasn't it wasn't kicking on the fans so I had to almost I understand why the computer is not seeing it because I've basically bypassed it right I've bypassed it giving it feeding it hot power to where it just spins the fans to the cooler all the time problem with that is I don't think it's moving the pump <laughs> But I haven't really done, it's, I don't really do a whole lot of gaming on there anymore. It's more of a backup. It's, it's a really good PC. It was the last PC before I built the most current one. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it's, it's a really good PC. I just, it's a backup. It's important to have backups. Well, I made it. Micro Center. So this is it. Normally, I like to get stuff on Amazon, but it's Saturday morning, and I don't have a ton of plans today. It's kind of like a hangout day, you know? One of those, I'm not sure what I want to do. Maybe I should do something. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and fix this PC. I don't think they like cameras inside, so I'll see you guys when I come back out. Nice. Done. I got out. I did really good you guys I did really good I got what I needed and I didn't get anything that I didn't need so to speak okay let's take a look here <laughs> all right so I got I got a uh, you can't see it's reflecting it's a power strip thing Belkin power strip because I need you always need more plugs I got that bad boy I got the cooler which was not cheap but Again, it's it's been very rare that these things ever break. Get out of there. So I got the cooler. It costs autofocus cost 129. So the one I had before was this H100i, but this is the V2, the version. Looks like Corsair's gone from red to yellow on all their boxes. And then I got two of these PlayStation cards because I've been giving these away a lot lately. I uh, didn't realize that I didn't have any for myself and I have zero dollars in my in my PlayStation thingy and I need to buy Battlefield 1 <laughs> so I got PlayStation cards that's the way I like to put the stuff on there I got the cooler I needed and I got a, a whatchamacallit a cord not a cord a uh, power surge protector it's really just to get like when I charge cameras and stuff like that right now I have to unplug one of my lights my lamps that I use for when I do the green screen and so I figured it would be better if I uh, if I got this this is an eight foot cord I can extend it from like a free free slot so I did good I got what I needed I didn't really get anything I didn't need that's always a good day so I made it back home and it's time now to put this bad boy in, look at this. You guys are interested. That is the meaty controller right there. Blue camo, baby. <laughs> Blue camo. Anyway, see if you guys can see that. So I've got to. It's a little bit dark in here. I've got to take this out, and the radiator is up here. Take this radiator out, take this out, this is the problem right here is this block, and replace that with this guy. So hopefully that fixes the problem. I'm sure it will. Um, I talked to the guy there a little bit, he's like, I never heard anything like that. Like, yeah, I know, that's usually what happens. So, uh, but <clears throat> this is the part I like, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably put on, I like, I like like listening to movies or music in the background. Like I'll put on Amazon or something, just let it play through a playlist, or put on YouTube, and pick a band and let it just play in the background while I, while I tinker around with this. It's funny because usually I don't do any videos here in my office because I'm in here a lot, 
and I like to be outside and share that, but it's part of it. You know, this is all part of, of everything that I do. Somebody asked me once, uh, not too long ago, they're like, is there anything that you can't do? And it's, look, I like to challenge myself and I always tell people, you know, don't be afraid of failure because if you're afraid of failure, then you'll never succeed, right? So I like, I always tell people, challenge yourself to do things that maybe, you know, you're not sure of, or, you know, as long as something, no one can get hurt or you can't hurt yourself, you know what I'm talking about, within reason here. But you try and do things and whether you succeed or fail, that's okay. At least you gave the effort, you know, you, you know, you went for it and that's the cool thing about it. And you'll find that when you do something that you're not sure that you can do and you actually succeed and do it, that feeling is awesome, right? So if there's anything you take away from this video, take this. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself every day to either do something, try something, you know, think about, uh, talk to somebody, whatever it is. Challenge yourself every day. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll reap some serious rewards. You'll, you'll be amazed at what that feeling is when you accomplish something you just, just weren't sure that you could do and that you were a little bit afraid of trying, right? That's where real courage comes from. You know, courage, they always say courage comes from people who are afraid, but they go anyway. You know, they try anyway. They do it anyway in spite of that fear. Every, you know, a lot of people think that people just do things because they have no fear. No, 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 no. It's just, it's actually the opposite. And that's where true courage comes from. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I like, uh, I like the philosophical background of some of that stuff. It's pretty interesting to me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump on this thing, get her fixed, get her done, and uh, that'll be it. So that's the end of the video.